When we start looking at our mechanical systems for passive house, we want to make sure that we have these systems sized for the correct load. And we need to take into account all interior heat gains when we're doing that because we're basically building a thermos that's trapping this heat in there. So we want to make sure that we understand what we're trapping. And we need to analyze our buildings with minimum interior heat gains in the winter and with maximum interior heat gains in the summer so we understand what our peak loads or how big our engine has to be to heat and cool this building. Now, why is this a problem? Well, one of the things that, that we have in this country is this large area of mixed humid climate. The only other place in the world that's got the kind of climate that we have is in China. This is not an, an issue that they have dealt with very heavily in the European passive house movement. It is an issue that we deal with in North America. Why is it an issue? Well, sensible and latent heat loads. Now, what's the difference? Sensible heat is what you feel. That's hot. That's what you measure in a thermometer. Latent heat is what you would know as humidity. It's moisture in the air. Latent heat is the moisture that's within the air. So what, what do we know about in the summertime in August? It's not the heat, it's the humidity. It gets kind of moist around here in, in August, hot and steamy. Not as steamy as where I live in Virginia, but certainly enough that it's uncomfortable. And if you've got infiltration of air into your assemblies, you're not only transporting moisture into the assembly, which is gonna build moisture, but you're also transporting that moisture into the house, and then you're creating a load on the mechanical equipment that it's gonna to have to cool, and it's not only gonna to have to cool, but it's gonna to have to dehumidify. That's what the latent side does. 